Well, we have talked about Swipe Elite in the past and now we have a new Swipe Elite and that's called the Swipe Elite Note. So the Swipe Elite Note is a phablet from the Indian mobile startup company called uh, the Swipe Technologies based out of Pune. And Swipe is continuing to impress with a sensible lineup of mobile devices, unlike certain Indian brands who keep introducing mobiles in bulk and just for the sake of it. The Swipe Elite Note is priced at Rs. 7,999 and that puts this mobile in a very competitive segment in the market. Can it survive the fierce competition and is the device worth considering to buy? Let's check it out. First off, the design. The mobile is a 5.5 inch device. It has a soft texture matte finish at the back and smooth rounded corners, just like the other Elite mobiles we have reviewed in the past. The mobile is a phablet and which means that it has a large frame and display, but the smooth back and rounded corners make it very comfortable to hold. The material used for construction is primarily plastic. There is a thin metal rim running along the frame edge. The metal edges add to the aesthetics but not to the sturdiness. The mobile is 8.4 mm thick and it weighs 194 grams. That is one of the thickest and heaviest mobile we have seen in this segment. Though it does not feel like holding a cheap mobile, it does not feel premium at the same time. I wish Swipe had opted for a better quality of plastic used in the construction of the Swipe Elite Note. The back panel is removable and though it is flimsy, when it is fitted back in the mobile, it fits snugly. The right side has the volume and power button. The buttons are made of metal. The top has the 3.5mm audio socket, micro USB and also an infrared port. The mic is at the bottom, the 13 megapixel camera is at the back and it is assisted by a single LED flash. The 5.5 inch display takes over most of the front apart from the 5 megapixel selfie camera, the usual sensors, earpiece and the non backlit Android keys. The display is protected by dragon trail glass and it has very thin bezels. With every Elite mobile, I can see that there is a massive jump in the quality and design. Swipe Elite Note continues to improve with its minimal design language and simple aesthetics. The Swipe Elite Note has a 5.5 inch IPS display which supports 720p HD resolution. It is protected by dragon trail glass and that is a massive upgrade. The display glass has a 2.5D curve along the edges and the curve looks very impressive. The display has something called the VIDI technology and that makes it very vivid and bright. It has optimal brightness, saturation and color reproduction. The viewing angles are good and has good sunlight legibility. The text and graphics are crisp on the display. I was pleasantly surprised about the quality of display on this sub 8000 rupees mobile. The MediaTek 6735 processor is turning out to be the most preferred choice among the mobile in this segment. The Swipe Elite Note is no exception. It runs on a quad-core MediaTek processor clocked at 1.3 GHz. It has a 3 GB of RAM and it is assisted by Mali T720 GPU for the graphics. It has an internal storage of 16 GB which is expandable by just 32 GB with a micro SD card. It has a 13 megapixel camera at the back and 5 megapixel camera on the front. It has the usual Wi-Fi and supports dual SIM cards. When it comes to performance, the tried and tested MediaTek 6735 processor proved to be a great choice of hardware. The device handles the UI smoothly and there was no issue with apps and games as well. Not only the benchmark sorts were great, the device also performed well in real life. There was a slight bit of heating issue, the mobile heated up to 44 degrees Celsius after around 20 minutes of intense gaming. When this overheating occurred, the mobile shut down on its own after a warning. Otherwise, there was no heating issues on regular usage. Telephonic calls had no issues when with respect to network, but the quality of incoming voice was a bit tinny. The sound of the out of the speakers are not loud enough, but it was clear. The audio quality on the in-ear headphones were decent, though the build quality was very cheap. The infrared on the top works like a charm. With the included IR app, I could configure my TV and Tata Sky without any hiccup. Swipe Lite Note has got a massive upgrade in terms of camera hardware. Now it's got a 13 megapixel Sony sensor at the back and a 5 megapixel selfie camera. The camera is capable of recording video at 1080p resolution with 30 frames per second. The image quality from the rear facing camera is decent. 
The color reproduction is natural, but the focusing is slow and dodgy. The images are good on ample daylight, but the camera is almost useless on low light. The flash is not of much help either. The HDR shots are good, but a bit over sharpened and the exposure interlacing is uneven. Again, the HDR images come handy only on ample daylight conditions. The front facing camera is decent with fairly pleasing self portraits. The camera application is straightforward and easy to use. It is a stock Android UI application, but it lacks at times. It is not a fast snapper. The camera performance is just average. Considering the price point and the target audience, the camera in the Swiper Lite Note would meet most requirements, but with a little bit of compromise. The Swiper Lite Note still runs on Android 5.1 with Freedom OS UI skinned on top. We love the Freedom OS in the earlier versions, but I have some reservations with what I see in the Swiper Lite Note. The Freedom OS is rightly optimized for basic mobiles like the Elite or even the Elite 2. The UI is snappy and provides a bunch of handy features. The pure Android experience is still retained, but it is still the Android 5.1 experience. The Freedom OS offers quite a bunch of customization options. It offers a huge list of gesture based controls. The UI is minimal and yet it is highly functional. It comes preloaded with a few applications like the Apple's Launcher, News Hunt, Maxter, Flipkart, Bobble, etc. etc. I wish Swipe had a way of getting away with all these preloaded applications. Freedom OS in the earlier versions had a lot of native features and now it is dependent on the embedded third party applications for those very same native features. The problem with the third party applications are advertisements and they keep popping up everywhere on the screen. I notice ads every time I unlock the mobile. Freedom OS has got the potential and there's a lot of room for improvement, but they just have to get rid of the third party applications. Even if they don't give me those features, I am very much happy to use the minimal and functional Freedom OS in any swipe light phone. The mobile is powered by a 3000mAh battery and it comes with a regular 1000mAh charger. The battery is removable. It gets charged from 10 to 100% in less than 2 hours. On a 4G network and normal usage, the mobile lasts for a little over than 26 or even 32 hours. Battery performance is impressive on the Swipe Lite Note. The Swipe Lite Note is a great tablet in the sub 10,000 rupees segment. In this price band, the Elite Note is comparable to devices like the ASUS Zenfone Laser 2, the Vibe K5 from Lenovo, or even the Honor Holly 2 Plus. Zenfone Laser 2 has got a great camera and build quality, but you'll have to spend 1000 rupees more than the Swiper Lite Note. The Honor Holly 2 Plus has got a super long battery life, but the UI is laggy and not very impressive. The Vibe K5 has got a fantastic design and a stable UI, but has a smaller battery. All these three mobiles have 2GB of RAM, while the Elite Note is the only one to give you a 3GB of RAM in this price segment. If not better, the Elite Note has got comparable performance on an affordable price tag. For Rs. 7,999, you get a sensible design, great display, impressive battery life, and a decent hardware specifications. Thanks for watching the video. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you like this video, hit the like button and do share your thoughts via the comments below. This is Giridhar signing off.